Yeah, so we were talking about Gini index, right? Gini index was the first algorithm, chi square was the next. So we are going to touch down on chi square. Again, to remind the algorithms are all the same, right? So you have an algorithm to measure. So all of them just differ in the way they measure the impurity score, right? The whole idea is same. You have an impure node and you're going to calculate the impurity of the produced child nodes. And all you're going to do is for all possible feature splits, you're going to choose the feature that gives you the least impure nodes, right? So you're going to for every possible feature splits, you're going to calculate the child node impurity score of the child node and then you're going to see which is the feature that gives you the least impurity score and you're going to go ahead with that. So that's the idea. That's what we saw in Gini index. The Gini index, the formula for calculating impurity was 1 minus p square plus 1 minus p square. That is the formula for calculating Gini index. As you would have, as you remember, Gini index for an impure node was 0.5, a completely impure node, whereas Gini index for a completely pure node was 0. And your goal was to start off from a node which was roughly impure or 0.5 and go down splitting till you reach a node place where your node has a Gini index of 0. Now we are now going to cover an algorithm called chi-square algorithm. So this is if you if you are trying to think about why the name chi-square, you would probably want to refer back to inferential statistics lecture. Why chi-square? But so before we do that, uh, and that probably you can probably correlate why the name chi-square from that. Uh, couple of things to know obviously it works with a categorical variable which is success or failure and in fact Gini index for that matter also works with categorical failure but target variable right for all classification tasks Gini index all of these algorithms by the way are all for all classification tasks right it does not work when it's a continuous variable that you're trying to do and you would be probably be thinking do you even do decision tree for regression tasks We'll kind of come to that in a bit, but for now, just consider the most simple case. We are doing decision tree for classification tasks. In case of classification tasks, your target variable can come in only target values of success or failure. Gini index, as I had explained already, works for target variables where you have classification tasks. Chi-square also works for classification tasks. It can perform two or more splits. Same goes for Gini index as well. Gini index also, if you have more than two splits, it can work. And uh, as I had said, in case of impurity, in case of Gini index, higher the Gini index value, less likely you want to go ahead with that feature. You want to choose the feature that gives you the least value of Gini index. In case of chi-square, uh, higher the value of chi-square, you want to go ahead with that particular feature split. So that's the only minute difference, but apart from it, everything stays same from Gini index. So how do you calculate? So before we kind of go into this calculation thing, let's try and understand what is the intuition behind chi-square. So in case of in case of in Gini index, we understood that what Gini index basically measures is your 50-50 split, right? If it's a 50-50 split, you penalize the model more. If it's a 100-0 split, you penalize the model less. In case of chi-square, what you're trying to measure is this. How far is your probability from an expected probability? What is your expected probability? If you randomly divide your nodes, you would expect a node to be 50-50 split, right? If you have an original node, if you have a say if it's a female node or a male node or whatever node it is you would expect that the what is the worst possible case that is basically it's a 50 50 split right people who have watched the movie Dunkirk and people who have not watched the movie there's a 50 50 split between them and what you're trying to measure in chi square is how far is the current population that split after split what is the population how that split is how far it is from 50 50 kind of a split right so that's all a chi square measures so if we expected value is basically a 50 50 split and your actual value which is the split that you currently have how far it is from 50 50 obviously now you can realize that if it's a very close to 50 50 split that you have even after you know a sum so for example in case of the previous example we saw employment give you a roughly 50 50 kind of a split then it's deviation from the expected which is also a 50 50 split would not be much whereas if you have a 100 zero split that's de whose deviation from 50 50 would be a much higher number right so that is what exactly we are trying to measure at chi-square. We are trying to measure what is the actual split, how far it is from the expected 50-50 split. So how you measure that is actual minus expected square by expected and square root of that. Now this is again a complex mathematical formula. You don't kind of need to get a hold of it right away. Just understand this, that this number is high when your actual is much higher from expected. And this number is very low when your actual is 
close or equivalent to expected and expected is your 50 50 split so that's just just keep that thing in mind right your actual minus expected square would be a high number if your actual what split that you have in the node currently is way way you know away from the 50 50 split and if that is close to 50 50 split the actual number the the chi square number would be low right so given that is the understanding that we have at the starting of the thing so now let's try and calculate take a real life case and see how that is calculated right so yeah let's come back to the dunkirk example and let's try and understand how you calculate chi square with respect to uh this particular example so again like before i have already told this probably a number of times your algorithms are all the same you basically consider all possible feature splits and for all of them you calculate the impurity score take a weighted average of them and see which of the feature gives you the least in case of genie index which is the one feature that gives you the least uh genie index weighted genie index and in case of chi square we will basically go ahead with the feature that gives you the highest weighted chi square right so now let's go back and measure chi square values right so before we go there just kind of going through the slides so we are building our intuition so it's an easy example we are talking about directly calculating and we are going back so yeah just don't forget about the last part so gender node right so first obviously this is something that we have all been familiar with first up you split based on gender the same story 28 people 28 males out of which 20 28 males out of which 12 people have watched the movie 22 females out of whom 14 people have watched the movie right so now we've that is a distribution now let's calculate what is the expected number right the expected number of people who have watched the movie is 11 and expected people who have not watched the movie is again 11 right so you remember i talked about expected is basically the 50 50 split right so in a normal scenario if that had been the if there was nothing of a you know the age does not sorry the gender does not have a lot of bias then if it does not have any much bias then you would expect there is distribution in each of the male and the female node to be roughly 50 50 right so that is what you have here right so there were 12, 14 22 people who were there in the female node if there's not much of a bias you would expect both like people who have watched the movie and people who have not watched the movie to be equally split right so you would have 11 people who have who are expected to watch and 11 people who are not expected to watch same goes for the male node right the male node you can see here consists of 16 people uh sorry so it consists of 22 people 20 28 people here right 28 people out of which uh 14 people are expected to watch and yeah so 28 people are there in the male node and out of so this is the 28 people who have watched them who are totally there in the male node out of them 14 people are expected to watch the movie and 14 people are not expected to watch given it's a random distribution of 50 50 right so how do we calculate so what we are now going to do is calculate the deviation of our current split from a random 50 50 split right so how do we calculate that so first we calculated so we had expected so in a random split we knew already that this is the expected number of people who should watch 11 people who would watch the movie and 11 people who would not watch the movie in the female node given there are 22 females same way in the male node there would be 14 people who have watched the movie 14 people who have not watched the movie given a 50 50 kind of a split so what we have is expected minus observed of watch and expected minus observed of not watch so expected watch how many people were expected to watch there were 11 people who were expected to watch how many people actually watched in the female node 14 right so expected minus observed was 11 minus 14 which is minus 3 in cases expected minus observed not watch so how many people were expected not to watch assuming a 50 50 split was again 11 there were 22 people 50 50 split so 11 people were expected not to watch but how many people actually did not watch 8 so 11 minus 8 is 3 so this is how you get the expected minus observed of watch for both the nodes male and female now after that you have to calculate all you have to do is now is calculate the actual minus expected square by expected and square root of that again don't try and kind of memorize this formula because that's not something that someone gonna go and ask you at probably some interview no one is gonna tell, ask you to come on tell me what is the chi square value but what you need to understand and appreciate is this that what chi square is measuring is this actual minus expected square so if your expected is very close to your actual which is expected is a 50 50 split right and if your actual is also very close to a 50 50 split you would have a chi square number which is very low 
and versus compared to a case where you have a hundred zero kind of a pure node right in that case your deviation from expected which is a 50 50 split would be very high and you would end up with a high chi square number so now expected minus observed so i'm just for sake of the formula now let's see how that is calculated so expected minus observed square is 9 for watch minus 3 square is 9 9 by expected which is 11 and square root of 9 by 11 is 0.904534 right and the same way you calculated the chi square for node watch and the same way you calculated the same numbers for the male node as well right so there's nothing much here you can see clearly that in case of female node the expected values are way away from the median so you have a chi square value which are very high so the mean expectation values were 11 and your values are deviated quite much whereas in case of male it's just 14 from there it's a 16 12 deviation whereas in case of male nodes that's a 14 so there's deviation is more in case of the female node in case than in the case of male node which is what we had also seen in Gini index recall that in case of Gini index we also saw that female node was more purer because we had a Gini index of 0.46 in case of Gini index for male node the number was a little higher it was around 0.49 which meant the male node was more impure than the female node and the same thing you see here right the only the formula has changed appreciate this that in case of Gini index the female node was even even by Gini index the female node was more pure in case of chi square also it shows that the Gini sorry the chi square value of female node is high which means the female node is more pure than the male node right which is because in case of female node you had a 63 37 split whereas in case of male node you only had a 44 56 kind of a split so 44 56 is closer to 50 50 than 63 37 is right so that's why chi square values are greater for the female node and how do you finally chi find out the chi square for the entire gender split is just adding these two values up right so there's a small change here you could add directly you could do the weighted average like you did for Gini index there are different implementations of the same algorithm across different libraries so don't bother much about it but the whole at the end of the day the goal is same right you want to somehow you have two nodes you want to combine them you can directly take an average you can directly sum them up or you can take a weighted average depends on the algorithm itself in case of most of the chi square the original paper how it describes is this you just add these two values and you can see that the chi square for gender comes out to be 2.87 right so now what you're gonna do you're gonna look at for all the possible fees so this was for gender now you're gonna go and look at for age employment and see which is the one which gives you higher genie higher chi square right because in chi square all you're measuring is a deviation from the expected higher that value so basically it's a more of a measure of purity rather than impurity right so in case whichever split basically gives you a more pure node you want to go ahead with this so which is basically a higher chi square so chi square the higher the chi square that is the feature you want to go ahead with this is as opposed to what you had seen in Gini index please recall that in case of Gini index you wanted to go ahead with the feature which had a lower Gini value right because Gini index is a measure of impurity chi square is a measure of purity so now split on employment status so now we'll do the same calculations once again from the employment status nothing much here you already understand that uh, so volumes let's kind of summarize the solutions here right so you had total 41 people who are working versus nine people who are student out of those nine people five people have watched the movie uh, sorry four people have watched the movie and out of those 41 people 22 people had watched the movie so you are expected people to watch is 4.5 which doesn't make sense because how can a 0.5 people watch a movie don't bother about that part because that's not something that we are going to use anywhere for interpretation so expected watch is basically the 50 50 split so which is 4.5 4.5 in case of the student node and which is 20.5 20.5 in case of the working node in case of student nodes expected minus observed watch and non watch comes out to be 0.5 and minus 0.5 the expected you understand this right this is why this is 0.5 this is expected is 4.5 and people who have watched is 5 right so 4.5 minus 5 is 4 point sorry ex people who have watched is 4 so 4.5 minus 4 is plus 0.5 expected people not to watch is again 4.5 and how many people did not watch is 5 right so 5 people have not watched it so 4.5 minus 5 is minus 0.5 same goes for working calculation so working 20.5 people are expected to watch out of which 22 people have watched so 20.5 minus 22.5 is minus 1.5 
and similarly here right so now you do this calculation you come up with chi square values which are expected minus observed square which is so now to do this for this for the student note how is that calculated actual minus expected is 0 0.5 0 0.5 square by expected which is 4.5 and square root of that that is how you come up with this particular value of 0.23572 right clear easy so how, what is the final chi square value comes out to be of come the split based on employment it's 1.133 right again i have said it enough i think but for sake of clarity let's again repeat this this is just one way you can just take summation you can take average you can take weighted sum based on number of people in each node so that's something you have to come up with and that's so don't worry about that right now the algorithm as such it implements is basically the summation of chi square watch and chi square not watched so you sum them up it comes out to be 1.13 that is a lower chi square value than what we had for a split based on gender gender gives you a split of 2.77 or something to some number which was 2 point something and employment based split gives you a chi square value which is 1.13 so obviously chi square based on employment is lower hence we want to go ahead with gender and this is exactly what we have seen for gini index also right gini index chi square sorry gini index of gender split was lower gini index value as compared to gini index for split based on employment so hence we wanted to go ahead with gini index hence we wanted to go ahead with split based on gender as compared to split based on employment because gender give you a lower Gini index. The same thing is something you see here out here except that chi-square for employment is now lower as compared to chi-square for uh, gender because chi-square as I told you is a measure of purity. So you want to basically go ahead with that split which gives you a more pure node, right? Gini index is a measure of impurity that's why you went ahead with this one feature that give you the least Gini index because it's a measure of impurity you want to go from impure to more pure node right so anything that gives you the least impure score is something you want to go ahead with in case of chi square it's a measure of purity so you want to go ahead with something that gives you more pure node so anything that max any feature the feature that maximizes your chi square value is the one that you want to go ahead with and both of this algorithm the way they calculate the impurity or purity per se is different that's the only thing apart from it rest of it is all same you have a node which is impure and you want to somehow come up with the feature you want to basically come up with the feature that gives you the you have a node which is impure and you want to come up with something that gives you the best possible split in terms of most pure nodes right uh, so you have impure node you split it up and you want to go for a split that gives you as far as away from 50 50 kind of a split Gini index was one measure, chi square is another. Now we are going to cover the third algorithm, which is called entropy or information gain. Log on to Grey Atoms learning platform to unlock more free content. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.